Today, ABC Rhyme Relay is the name of the game. See what I did there? Rhyming words, stories, and play all lay the foundation for early phonics, which lead to better pattern recognition and the ability to sound out words as they go. So let's get started learning how to make and play this active literacy game. Colorful markers, hula hoops, paper plates. Lennon, you have an L, and Isla, you have an F-U-N, which would be fun. And so what we're gonna do is... Yeah, we, we have a couple more. I had a girl, good job, Isla. For the craft portion of today's activity, we're gonna be decorating our plates. So, you can either start out with your letter or your word, which here we start out with the word sun, and you can decorate it however you want, you and your kids. The fun things we can do is uh, make these plates a little more uh, interesting to play with. I'll get this light blue. Light blue is a great color. I like it. Which one do you want? You get the little lavender, like the purple there? Ah, yeah, go ahead. And again, no limitations. You guys can use any color you want, uh, any color combination you want. What are you going to draw? Do you have anything in mind? You're going to make patterns or you're going to make a picture? I'm just out Some water. Some water? This is going to be great. Make some pink water. You can make pink waves. I think that's cool. I'll draw some things that are fun. What, if, what, what are some things that are fun? Let's Kicking get... the ball. Kicking the ball. So I'll just draw a ball. Or jumping rope. Jumping rope's a good one. That might be good. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, that'd be, a good, one to, that'd that. be a good one to draw, too. Once you've decorated your plate, however you've chosen, you can move on to create the other plates for the matching game. When you do that, it may be to your advantage if you have pre-readers to create some other cues so they can match the patterns beyond that of the rhyming word itself. You could take the same pattern that you used on the word sun and create the same pattern on the rhyming word bun. So this will give them another way to recognize patterns in relationships to the rhyming words. So this was beneficial for Lennon because Lennon is not a reader, but she was able to participate in the matching game because she was able to identify that the word sun had the same patterns and symbols on it as the word bun. To play, you'll take your decorated plates and your hula hoops and let the games begin. You'll take one word, place it inside the hula hoop, and you'll spread the rest of the words around the yard. All right, okay, so today, we are gonna play a little word search in the yard, but today we're looking for rhyming words, all right? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of these words here that I have in the circle here, and then we're gonna go out and find one word that rhymes with it. Now, because Lynn is not reading yet, Isla, I want you to help her out, so I want you guys to work together today, okay? Let's, um, let's pick a word. Your pick, I'll any pick, your with, word, any word. I'll go with pop. Pop, okay. Love ring pop. Ring, very okay, very cool. All right, so can you say pop, Lynn? Pop. Excellent. So let's go find a word that rhymes with pop. Pop. Once your kids are excited and ready, send them out into the yard to find the rhyming word. They can sound out the word as they find it, and then bring the word back inside the hoop. Pop. <laughs> you say hop, Lynn. Okay, go find another one. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> if you want to turn it up a notch, you can always turn it into a race or a competition. Nap, tap, nap, cat. Moth, pop, pop, pop. Wiz, big, pig, dig. Hen, dig, pig, hen. Woo! <laughs> hen second. That girl. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. For younger kids or pre-readers, you can easily adapt this game to a letter recognition game using uppercase or lowercase letters. You're gonna pick a letter and match it to one of and match it to one of the letters that's in the hula hoop. All right, come on, put in the letter A, put in the letter A, put in the letter A. Come on, come on, come on. Put in the letter A. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you did it. Yes, A. And you can even have the kids try to fling it like a frisbee to see if they can get it inside the hoop. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? 
There you go. The day was great. We got to get outside, they got to stretch their legs and run around quite a bit, but they also got to work together as a team. With Isla having the experience and being able to read, it was really, really helpful for Lennon to be able to participate in the game at that level. Bring one. Give, give her, give her one. There you go, now you guys work together. Now show her where to put it. Show her, show her where it is. Yeah, what? Right here, right here. Tell her what that word is. That is ma. Now read them, read them real quick. Read them real quick. Ma. Hey. Pin, pin, din. Pin, din. Pin, tin, din. Din. And here. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. The best part of this game is that there are so many different games that you can play that come from it. Whether we were using the letters for letter recognition, or the rhyming words, or you could use sight words, you could use names or anything to teach whatever it is you're trying to teach and engage the kids with it. ABC Rhyme Relay gave us an opportunity to integrate rhyming sounds and a wide variety of motor skills. So. Get your kids out, go out and have a great time, and find those rhyming words. Let's see what we can find in our rhyming bag. Ring! Ting. Ping. Bling. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Teddy from the Mother Goose Club. And this is my rhyming champion, Olivia. Hi. <laughs> rhyming is a great way for kids to learn how to play with words and sounds. It also helps them to become better readers and talkers. We'll show you how! <laughs> this is a great rhyming game. I've just put a bunch of things in a bag. Then you can use a container, a gift bag, a paper bag, or a pillowcase. Then we pull one thing out at a time and see how many words we can find that rhyme with that one thing. So for this, we take turns. I take out a sock, and then she would say rock. Then I'd say clock. Then she might say block. And you go on as long as you can. Take a look. Okay, Olivia, I have a sock. What rhymes with sock? Block. Good. Mm, lock. Talk. Mock. Rock. Good. <laughs> Rhyming teaches a skill called phonemic awareness. That's when kids can tell that words are made of sounds. It may seem simple, but it is so important for growing brains to practice phonemic awareness. You and your kids can rhyme all day long. When you're tying your child's shoe, you could say, hey, what rhymes with shoe or lace? Or when you're making breakfast, you could say, what rhymes with egg or juice? Sometimes I'll be silly and say, let's leave the house, mouse, or get in the car, star. Hat. Cat. Cat in the hat. <laughs> Ring. Bling. Sing. King. 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 <laughs> Rhyming is a simple and easy way to learn the sounds of language. And best of all, you don't even have to use real words. The important thing is to play with sounds and have fun. Star. Nar. Car. Wars. Yes, love it. What rhymes with bug? Hug. Woo! <laughs> so get out there and start rhyming. You can't go wrong. The sillier, the better. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn by sharing your rhyme ideas and activities. Just hashtag pictures and videos, Mother Goose Club, or comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Rhyming teaches phonemic awareness. Practice phonemic awareness. <laughs> phonemic awareness. Doc? Tick. <laughs> it's a phenomenon that I can't say phonemic so awareness. <laughs> Don't touch the microphone with a star, okay? I put a lot Better readers. You can't pick your nose, sweet girl. <laughs> help us and other Mother Goose Club. And help us and other Mother Goose Club. And other Mother Goose Club families. Oh my gosh, y'all. Rope? Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> when you're tying your child's shoe. Child's shoe. What rhymes with tickle? <laughs> tickle, pickle. <laughs> The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. 
Hi, I'm Ivy, and I play Baba Sheep on the Mother Goose Club. We sing a lot on the show, and I enjoy music in real life too. I especially love sharing music with my little cousin when she comes to visit. Music is fun and exciting, and it's an awesome way to learn. I'll show you how to make music with your kids. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. <laughs> Great job! When kids, even babies, interact with music, they get better at communicating, so I get my cousin involved in any way I can. We take turns singing, strumming on the ukulele, and picking the songs to sing. The important thing is that we're doing it together. Hey, you sounded great. What do you want to sing now? Hmm. The Farmer in the Dell. That sounds like a good choice. The Farmer in the Dell, the Farmer in the Dell. Hi ho the dairy oh, the Farmer in the Dell. The farmer takes a wife, the farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy oh, the farmer takes a wife. The wife takes a dog, the wife takes a dog. Hi ho the dairy oh, the wife takes a dog. We sing all the time. Kids learn words better when they sing them because they're using more parts of their brain. Okay, I'm gonna sing Farmer in the Dell, and then when I get quiet, that's when you fill in the word, okay? Got it. You think you can do that? Like What's wife, dog, cat. Ah. Uh. Yeah. The farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy o. The farmer in the dell. The farmer takes a wife. The farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy o. The farmer takes a wife. Our jam session wouldn't be complete without a dance party. Dancing is a great brain booster, and plus, kids love to do it. When kids move, it wakes up parts of their brain used for learning. When they move side to side and up and down, it gets their brains ready for the patterns of reading. When you show us how your family sings, you inspire other parents to try it too. Help families by recording your musical moments and posting them with hashtag Mother Goose Club. We can make more videos when you comment and subscribe, so please help us out. Hi, I'm Baba, and or I'm Ivy, and I enjoy music on. I enjoy, and I enjoy. Okay, their brain used for move for for moving. Kitty, kitty on the bus, the wheels on the bus. And so John's like, yeah, okay, it's me. fine. Uh. No, 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 it was. I loved it. It's okay. So help us out. I don't know the one. Round. Oh, I'm sorry. Round. The, the farmer in the. Sharing songs with my little, sorry, I touched the mic and I saw him go, no. <laughs> oh, 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 uh. Why? Okay. <laughs> right, like that. I enjoy things, but then I love things. <laughs> I actually want one that can get us out of jail for the beginning of the piece. Oh, we're not in jail. <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaurs have great big teeth that chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, 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 and a chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, 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 and a chomp, chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs! Hi, I'm Liam, and I play Eat the Mouse on Mother Goose Club. The Mother Goose Club is all about music. So am I, especially drums. Drumming is good for kids in a lot of ways, and you don't even need real drums to do it. I'll show you how. <laughs> this is my buddy and neighbor Keller. He comes over for jam sessions. We have a lot of ways to jam, don't we? Yeah. Can we do the one where we take turns? Sure. Tell him how we play. Liam drums the pattern and then I drum it. We do it faster and faster. Watch. Ready? I'm gonna speed it up now. Crazy fast one. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Patterns are super important for math. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns because it's so fun. Another drumming activity is keeping a beat. 
Keeping a beat helps with talking and listening. Kids can hear and understand the rhythm of speech better if they practice keeping a beat. I'll start with an easy one. It goes like this. Now you join in. Okay. There you go. Now keep it steady the whole time. I'm gonna play different things over it. Very good. <laughs> My favorite thing about drumming is that you don't even need real drums to do it. Pots, pans, food containers, anything can be a drum. You can use a spoon or a pencil as a drumstick, or even just use your hand. Plus, the more kinds of sounds kids hear, the more brain connections they make. Look how the bigger ones make deeper sounds and the smaller ones make higher sounds as we play. Watch. You can join in too. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drum skills by posting photos and videos and hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Rock and roll by subscribing and type the name of your favorite drummer in the comments below. One, two, three, four. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What's that coming down the track? A freight train. Freight train coming down the track. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Hi, my name is... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam, drop, Liam drums a pattern. <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam jumps. <laughs> Another drumming activity. Another. Mm. I think I just... Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns if they. If they... I'm gonna. Wait, were you. Alright, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the simple one. All right, and you keep all through. Or... <laughs> yeah, so let's look at the audience and let's... A freight train! Plus, the more kids hear different kinds of sounds... Keep that line. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drumming skills by... Um, subs and type your comment, type your name of your favorite drummer in the comments. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll by subscribe. <laughs>